Good morning. Moving these things around. Computer does not want to stay balanced today. <laughs> Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. Just come towards the back of your mats. Come into a hero's pose to start today. Or really any seated posture that's calling towards you. Take a hero's pose, crisscross. And once you find your comfortable seat, we're just gonna take a couple of breaths here. So you can gently close your eyes. Your hands can be off to your sides or resting on your lap. And start to build some control over your breath by taking deep inhales. And then exhaling. Do that a couple of times with each exhale, releasing any energy that is not serving you today. As you gain that connection control to your breath, begin to think of the intention for today's practice of what brought you to your mat. Could be a feeling you're trying to achieve, or just something that will help guide you through your practice. A gentle reminder of what brought you here today. Slowly begin to open your eyes and come into your child's pose. So you have the option of keeping your knees together, or you can separate your knees, have your big toes touch, and sink your hips back. And as you bow forward, just gently rest your forehead on your mat. And we'll just hold here for a few breaths. Slowly begin to walk your upper body towards the left of your mat to create some space in the right body. Come back to center. Pause for a breath. And then walk your upper body towards the right. Then come back to center. Go ahead and lower your forearms down. Shift your gaze forward. And you're going to shift your body up, come into your mini tabletop. So position your knees so that they're in line with your hips. And this is one of those poses where you can tuck your toes, press into your feet or lift your feet. Each one with just a little bit more sensation. Just hold here and as you hold here, begin to engage your core.
Shift your gaze forward. Reach towards the top of your mat. And then bow forward into your melting heart. As you do this, be mindful of your pop and your booty out. Try to keep a nice flat spine. Go ahead and press all the way up, come into your tabletop position. Just hold here for just a moment. So your hands are in line with your shoulders, knees in line with your hips. And begin your cat cow. On your inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, lift your gaze. And on your exhale, you're gonna round your spine, bring your gaze between your legs. You just do this to your own breath to deepen your connection. Create some subtle movement in the spine of compression and relief. And come back to center. Extend your right leg back. If this feels okay, extend your left arm. And just hold here. I love playing with the opposites in the body because you're forcing both sides of your brain to communicate which can be really, really difficult and tricky. So if you're wobbly, that's okay. Just take your time coming into it. And then go ahead and lower your arm, keep your leg lifted. And you're gonna cross your right leg over your left body, bring your gaze over your left shoulder. Again, trying to create space in the side body on the right. our facial tissue and muscles in between the ribs can get incredibly dehydrated because we're not constantly reaching with the side body. So the more attention we can bring to the little muscles, it'll help with that compression and tightness that you can get in your chest sometimes. And then come back to center and lower your knee down. Go ahead and wiggle your hips from side to side like you're wagging your tail. Again, just doing that little micro compression and release. Now let's work with the other side. Extend your left leg back. If that feels okay, extend your right arm. You balance here, your gaze can be wherever it's comfortable. Looking down feels good, looking forward, looking at your thumb. Lower your right arm, cross your left leg over your right body, bring your gaze over your right shoulder. Just kick them up a little bit in the head and sorry. <laughs> and then come back to center, release your knee down and again. Wag your tail from side to side. Come to stillness. Tuck your toes if they're not already tucked. Lift your tailbone up towards the sky. Come into your downward facing dog. Come into it gently. 
We'll start to pedal out our feet, warm up our hamstrings. Any pops happen, that's okay. And then jump or step towards the top of your mat, come into your halfway lift. And then fold forward. Inhale all the way up, come into your mountain pose. Exhale your hands down to heart center. Take a moment. And then bring your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Step back into downward facing dog. Lift your right leg, step it all the way through. Create your foundation first, get your footing. And then rise for warrior one. So you've got a deep bend in your right knee. You're pressing into the blade edge of your left leg, keeping a micro bend. The hips are facing forward. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers above your head. Bring your fist to the back of your neck so your elbows are facing towards the sky. Come into this micro back bend. If this feels too constraining, you can take a cactus arm and just gently lean back. Reach your arms back up towards the sky, warrior one. And then bring your left hand down to your mat, right arm up towards the sky for a twist in your warrior. And press your body all the way up, warrior one. Begin to gently straighten your right leg. Clasp your left, or grab your left hand. <laughs> grab onto your right wrist, and then see if you can gently begin to press into your right heel. Lifting your foot. And then come back down into your warrior one. Straighten your right leg again. Take a big inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, fold over your right leg, come to pyramid. Keep a micro bend in both of your knees, try not to lock anything. And with your hands planted on the ground, see if you can put a big bend in your right knee and bring your left foot to meet your right. Come into halfway lift. And then as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale all the way up, mountain pose. And exhale your hands to heart center, take a pause. Inhale your arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, step back, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg, step it all the way through. Again, create your foundation, plant your feet. And then rise for warrior one. And 
interlace your fingers above your head. Bring your fist to the back of your neck so your elbows face the sky. Or you can take a cactus. Your arms back up, come into warrior one. Plant your right hand, left arm goes up for a twist. And if you ever find that looking up towards the sky and these kinds of twists is really straining on your neck, just play with your gaze, maybe look down. Make that feel better. <laughs> Bring both arms back up towards the sky, come into warrior one. Grab onto your left wrist with your right hand. Slowly begin to straighten your left leg and see if you can balance onto your heel. And release down, warrior one. Again, straighten your left leg. Inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, come down into pyramid. And keeping those micro bends. When you lock your joints, you are blocking the energy from traveling. Both hands planted so you can take a big step. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Come into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale all the way up, mountain pose. And then exhale your hands to heart center. Bring your hands down towards your sides. Shift your weight into your left foot. And then gently begin to bring your right knee up towards your chest. You can open your hip if that's in your practice today. And gently bring your knee back to center and release down. Shake it out if you need to. And we'll come into the other side, ground down into your right foot. Slowly lift your left knee up towards your chest. Open your hip. It's okay if you feel like you can open your hip on one side and not the other. You know how balance changes from side to side. Some sides are just a little bit tighter, a little bit more constrained. So give a little bit of patience and compassion. Your body is always trying its best. Bring your knee back to center and release your leg down. Again, shake it out again if you're prone to foot cramps like I am. Ground down into your left leg. Bend your right knee. See if you can reach back and grab the inside of your right foot. 
Now, if you want, you can kick into a full dancer. We're gonna keep our knee bent though and our foot kind of close to our butt today. So bring your left arm up towards the sky and find your point of focus. And it's gonna help you as you balance. On your exhale, bow forward. Now again, you can kick into your hand, come into dancer, or you can hug your heel close to your butt. If you're wobbly or you fall out, it's okay. Just take a breath and come back in. Release up and release your foot. Take a second, regroup, and come into the other side. So ground down into your right foot, bend your left knee. See if you can reach back and grab the inside of your foot. Bring your right arm up towards the sky. On your next exhale, bow forward. You have to take your time coming into these types of positions. If you try to force your body down, it is not going to cooperate. So take your time. Keep that connection to your breath. It might make it a little bit easier. Go ahead and release. And release your foot. Again, shake it out if you need to. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Inhale your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, come all the way down. Bring your booty to a squat for your malasana. You may have to adjust your footing. That's okay. Come into it comfortably. If you're feeling any strain on your ankles, you bring your feet out to a V. If it's more comfortable having them parallel, you can do that too. There's no rule into what feels good in your body. Everybody's feet and ankles and hips and knees, they're all different. If you'd like in your malasana, you can stay stationary. Or you can sway from side to side. Get a nice little hip joint massage going. Come to stillness. Bring your hands behind you and then sink your butt down. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Knees go nice and wide. Now you determine how far your feet go out. You can have them super tucked in if you'd like, or you can give yourself some space. Playing with this range is just going to work a different area on your leg. So if one area is feeling too sensitive as you bow forward, scoot your feet around. You can play with it a little bit. Inhale your arms up towards the sky to lengthen your spine. And then exhale, bow over your lap. And you don't have to come all the way down to where your head's in your feet. You can stay a little bit lifted. And if you are flexible and go all the way down, try to keep the integrity of the pose by keeping a nice flat spine here. I like to stay in the seated folds for a little bit longer than we would the standing postures because there's so much that is neglected in the lower body. So the more we can open up that facial tissue and get some fluid flowing into our knees and our hips, the easier it will be throughout the day. 
So if you start to feel some sensation in a particular area, it's okay. Just working towards that area to open it up a little bit. So if you ever feel pain in holding these poses, like if you're holding for too long down here, maybe take a break, come up a little bit. That's totally fine. Go ahead and press up to seated. Bring your knees together. Sink all the way back down towards your mat. Walk your heels in towards your butt. And keeping your knees together, you're gonna heel toe your feet towards the edges of your mat. Come into your reconstructive pose. Now this posture is great if you're having any kind of lumbar spine complications or any kind of tightness in your hips. This is a great one to come into to give yourself some release. If you came into this pose and immediately felt it in your lumbar, that's okay. <laughs> I know I did, but I always have sensitivity in my lower back. This is a pose I come to frequently to help really activate the muscles down there. To heel toe your feet back to center and then hug your knees into your chest. You can rock from side to side if you like. And then take your arms up nice and wide, lower your knees towards the left, bring your gaze over your right shoulder. Back to center. On your exhale, lower your knees towards the right. Bring your gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale back to center. And then exhale, extend your legs the length of your mat. Bring your arms to your sides, palms face the sky. Allow your feet to fall open. If you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes and begin to return to your natural breath. Allow your body to sink deeply into your mat and settle in for Shavasana.
Begin to bring awareness back into your body. And wiggling your fingers and your toes. Rocking your head from side to side. Inhale your arms up above your head for a full body stretch. And then bring everything into center. Give yourself a nice big hug for showing up for yourself today. Lower down to one side, come into your sleepy baby. With whichever hand landed on top, press up into a seated position. <sighs> Inhale your arms up above your head. And then exhale your hands to heart center. And gently bow your head. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you on Wednesday. I hope you have a good day today. I'll talk to you later.